Hello, Katie here from Katie's World. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for tuning in today. Um, this video is a third part of um, the series of using my 5x7 flap album. This is, I'm sorry. this is part of my mini album technique series where we post a new video every Tuesday. But in this particular um, video, we are working on the 5x7 flap album. Um, I do have some in my shop. I have a, using this particular technique, um, my Disney autographs album, a camping album, and then I've got a few new ones that are coming up um, that I will share with you later once I get those um, books done. But anyway, in this one, we've, the first video, I showed you how to put together the base. And then the second video, I show you how to put together this pocket with the attached flap. And now we're going to work on the back and add a flap to the back. So in this particular case, oh, and as I stated before, I'm not mentioning particular measurements because this is just showing you techniques and how I do it and how I make specific things. So if you're working on your own projects and you're like, hey, I want to add a flap or hey, I want to add a pocket obviously you can do any size you want but this is how you would create it or how I create that or how I put them together so in this particular case it's a flap I'm just gonna score half an inch from one edge I'm using a two millimeter stylus that's my preference and I'm scoring on the textured side I'm going to add tape to the smooth side of this particular piece usually in most cases you're gonna add tape to the texture side in my projects but in rare occasions, you're going to add it to the smooth, so you want to definitely read those instructions. There's photos for each step, but you also want to read the instructions in case it says smooth side for the tape. Okay, just getting that tape off. And I'm going to take my bone folder and just burnish that tape on there real good. And now I'm going to... Okay. It's actually, first of all, you want to make sure your page is right side up, okay? And then just turn it over. It's going to go inside here up to the score line. Now, I think I want to recommend folding it first so that you've got, you can burnish it and then open it back up. Um, so... You don't want it to go past the score line or on the score line, but you want it to go up to... Oh, wait, I want it to be centered, though. Hmm. Okay. I'm trying to think. I haven't done this in a while. I'm going to do it. I think I'm just eyeballing it. Ah. Hopefully that's centered. What would help, I think when I used to do this, I had a mat, a cutting mat that had inches on it, and I was actually able to, but I, like I said, I haven't done this in a while, but I'm just gonna, that looks pretty centered to me. Okay, so basically that's it. So it has to go, let me see if I can bring it close to the camera if it'll focus. It goes up to the score line, but not touching it because it still has to fold over. So if you watched the previous video, it's basically the same idea as this. It has to tuck on there. So you can do it the same technique I did that. The only reason I didn't was because I had this whole piece here too, and I thought that might be a little more difficult. But anyway, if you didn't haven't already, go check out the previous video and try that technique if this one is a little too hard to do. But anyway, that's it. So that's your base page for any of my 5x7 flap albums. Um, so that's it. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear um, from you below. That's it. That's the page. So I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please click the like button. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please click the subscribe button. Don't forget to click that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of the magic here at Katie's World. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. 
as I post updates of upcoming projects over there. I will put the link to my shop below if you'd like to check out my current projects. And thanks so much again and have a great day.